we will make use of this vaccine and test protocol for several conferences that are taking place this month, including the Milken Conference, the Bloomberg Conference this week, as well as the Industrial Transformation Asia-Pacific Conference later this month. We will extend the same protocol for a concert, JJ Lin's two-day charity concert happening later in November, as well as a sporting event, and that's the One Championship Martial Arts event. Essentially, with the vaccine and test protocol, we will be able to ease some of the safe management measures for these events, and that includes uh, measures like capacity limits and zoning restrictions. Because with vaccine and test, we are not only limiting the participants to vaccinated persons, we are also requiring all of them to be tested beforehand. So it provides extra protection and safety. Based on the outcomes of these pilots, if they prove to be successful, we will then be able to extend this same protocol to more events and more settings. And this is another way in which we can resume more activities in a controlled and safe manner. This is the step-by-step -step incremental approach we will be taking in easing our measures. It's not a big bang, as we have said before. It's done in a controlled manner. And each time we make a move, we will monitor the situation for the next few days or one, two weeks, ensure that the overall infection situation is stable before we make the next move. 